So as most of you probably know, I've been on a lot of adventures. Here we go! But basically all these adventures have been with other people. There it is! Wow! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Our bagels! No! No! <laughs> So recently, I had an idea to try and change things up a little bit by going on an adventure alone. Okay, so the other day, I may or may not have impulsively booked an Airbnb down to the Oregon coast, and today, I'm getting ready to leave to go on an adventure alone. I'm packing my bag right now currently. I'm just bringing like a couple outfits. Not sure why I always decide to pack so last minute because then I get like stressed last minute when I'm trying to get out the door, but here I am. Okay, I think I'm officially ready to hit the road. I did not just say that, ew, that's gross. So yeah, just like that, my adventure alone had officially started. I would say the drive there was pretty uneventful overall. Why does this always happen to me? I always have to pee at the most inconvenient times. I guess aside from having to pee in the woods, I hate my life. <laughs> but eventually, after a couple more hours of driving, I made it to the coast. There's the ocean. I'm currently walking around this little town, just kind of exploring, getting the good vibes in and stuff. I've always wanted to walk on abandoned railroad tracks, and look at me right now, doing exactly that. I ended up finding out later on that these were not actually abandoned railroad tracks. Holy shit! So it's probably a good thing I didn't stay on them for too much longer. I just got some ice cream. I don't know what flavor it is. It's like cookie dough or cookies and cream or something. I don't know. Is this depressing? After exploring the town for about an hour, I decided to go get settled in my Airbnb. I'm at the Airbnb now. Beach is right outside there. There's a little desk in the bedroom and everything. That's a cool looking fan. Here's the bed and the room. I'll be sleeping in tonight. Why am I five years old? From the bedroom, it leads into the bathroom right here. Here's the couch. Here's the dinner table. Here's the kitchen with all the kitchen things. on the balcony to my Airbnb, trying to just soak up some sunlight and wait for the sun to start setting, because once it starts setting, I'm gonna go back down to the beach. I thought doing this alone was gonna be kind of depressing, but I'm actually surprisingly enjoying it, which I think is good, because one of the main reasons I wanted to do this is to kind of just like show myself that it's okay to be by myself. This year, I have really been trying to like get better at not completely hating myself for everything that I do or say or the way I look or like just the way I am in general. <laughs> Self-love and self-care and stuff is like a very important life skill to have so I'm obviously trying to work on it and I just think doing this was a good start to doing that and just doing something for myself. I don't know if we'll ever actually get to a point where I could say I love myself because ew, like even saying that right now is like gross but I definitely think I want to try to get to a point where I'm not being so like self-deprecating all the time. This is getting way too deep for no reason, but I guess that's the like deeper meaning as to why I came on this trip by myself. The next day, I woke up and got ready. Goodbye to the beautiful view. Then I repacked all my stuff. 
and of course got some coffee. Cheers! <laughs> and before I knew it, I was back on the road. My plan for the day was to kind of just drive around looking for interesting places to pull off. I was just driving down more of the coastline and then I ended up pulling off at this like lookout spot on the side of the road. Also, there's people watching me film myself. This is really awkward. Like I look so stupid. <laughs> this literally looks like a shot out of like an indie coming of age movie or something. Ah, it was bug. Before I continue with this video, I wanted to say that I recently made a Patreon. I don't actually make money off of my films because the majority of them are demonetized due to copyright issues. So if anyone wants to maybe take the extra step to help support, I would really appreciate it. Even like a dollar a month helps a lot more than you'd think, but I also do have a bunch of exclusive content starting at $5 a month. So feel free to click the link in the description to sign up. And if you're not able to support the Patreon, it's no worries at all. I appreciate you even just watching my videos in the first place. I'm currently at the most iconic beach in Oregon, Cannon Beach, and I'm looking for the giant rock. There it is. I'm trying to make it look like I'm touching the tip of the rock in the distance. I don't know if it's gonna work though. <laughs> kind of random, but I am currently on the top of a water tower. I climbed up from all the way down there. It looks a lot shorter than it felt, at least. I didn't think I was afraid of heights, but now I might have a different perspective on that. So after checking out these interesting places, I think all the driving definitely started to catch up to me. I feel like I'm going insane because I've driven so many miles in the past 24 hours. But before I went home, I had one more specific location in mind. So I'm currently trying to drive to this field that I found on Google Maps in the middle of nowhere with like a road by it. For so long, I've wanted to make a video using the song Fine Line by Harry Styles and I have this like perfect vision that I'm trying to like recreate in my head. If you have not heard the song Fine Line by Harry Styles, you're missing out on a whole new experience in life. This song makes me feel a way that like I've never felt before. Be I feel like I'm in a music video right now. The rest of the drive home, I was kind of just reflecting on everything that had happened. It's always been kind of hard for me to be content with myself. Is this depressing? I feel like sometimes I rely too much on others for my own happiness. So I think doing this definitely helped show me that there's a difference between being alone and being lonely. I definitely still want to continue to work on my relationship with myself, so I hope this inspired some of you to do the same as well. The O O, here's the O O T D. Oh shit! Time for a burrito break. Ha. No, I only have one hand to film. This was not a good idea. I thought I wasn't fucking recording. That shit always scares me. Oh, that's a terrible angle. What was I thinking? There's so much sand in my shoe. No. Oh no. There's so many people looking at me because I have a camera in my hands. Like, I'm really causing a scene out here, but I'm not even trying to. Oh my god. <laughs> I just tried singing. <laughs> Guys, when I first started filming this clip, the lighting was so good and now it's terrible. It's fucking terrible. Let's hope it doesn't get super cloudy for the sunset because I know the Oregon coast is normally really cloudy, but as of right now, it's blue skies. So let's hope it stays like that. <laughs> oh my God, I almost just crashed. 